finally the long glass guy. Just, you know, so we stay friends. So, welcome to game, I believe it's nine. Wow. Of the Ghastly Prospects campaign, or video nine, I think. Yeah. Be. Um, we're going to be playing today a Zone Metallis hitting the vein scenario with three players. And I'm joined by... Phil. And Callum. We're going to be doing that today with Calvin Ferrum, obviously that you know and love or hate seeing because you're so bored of it. And you have... Big Site 47 crew. And... The Inglorious Blunder Bastards. So he's basically trying to get as many gas from this central pile that has been found in the bad zones. Do you want to go through yours first? Yes. So yeah. I have got all my gang and my priest because it's custom selection 10. Yes. And I rolled pretty well on getting um, my juve and other brethren coming through. But in my gang, it's going to be a priest with a stub gun and also now a butcher's cleaver because that popped up and chubbed the cheb, which is, looks like a servitor, but let's not say that. Actually, that. A chubby cheb. Here's a chubby cheb. Then I've got my deacon, who's got a master craft eviscerator. Uh, love that model, definitely do. Scared of it. Got, yeah. Yes, terrified. I've got two Redemptionist Brethren, uh, both with shotguns and plant buster ammo. I've got another then Redemptionist Brethren that has got a chain axe, and that's it, nothing else on well, it. chain axes are good enough, right? Yeah, yeah, they just, you know, don't need anything else. Uh, after that, I've got two Cordor Brethren that have got blunder poles, uh, which just Men mental weapons, mental yeah. weapons. Uh, I have a third Cordor Brethren that's got a long glass. Uh, Ooh, yeah, up the post this month. Yeah. The post this month. Uh, I've got three bone pickers that are all exactly the same. Uh, apart from two of them, I've got fighting knives and only what two of them have got dum dum ammo. And then we have the priest in his first ever outing, the voice. To the voice of the people, and he has a big hammer, two-handed hammer. Okay. Okay. And that's your gang, is it? That's that's my gang. All thirteen models. All oh, thirteen. Nice. Wow. Oh. Nice. So going up against that is the forty sevens. Yep. So uh, custom selection ten uh, is great for me. I've got nine models in my gang that I can pick. <laughs> uh, so uh, my the whole the whole crew is here, everybody. Um, so to start off with, um, I've got my uh, chapter master, so of the of the, the clan, um, and they, they've got actually uh, I have an auto gun uh, with plant buster ammo. So hopefully I can take out some some zombies. Uh, not not happy with them last <laughs> okay. time. Have, have we all learned how difficult it is yeah, to kill zombies? Yeah, I, I mean we after. Have, after after spending literally three turns the last match doing nothing and then killing it in melee with my with my gang that has no melee weapons was quite interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, and, and my, my leader's got Iron Will, uh, so when the game went on the table, the count as an extra model uh, in regards to bottling and things like that. Um, I've then got my, my Joe Master, so I'm a champion. Uh, they're pretty stacked. Uh, bolt gun, I have bolt gun, I have stub gun, and then I have dum dum rounds. Uh, and they've got the skill of nobody pushes kin around. All that means is basically I'm, I'm vaguely immune to knockback. Um, on an edge if I get vaguely shot. Vaguely immune. Vaguely well, immune. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, uh, Meaning completely immune. Well, well, if I'm on an edge and I get shot, instead of falling off, I just go prone. Yeah. Um, and I actually can't be pushed back by weapons that have knockback. Right. So, so by, when you said vaguely, what you meant is completely, Basically, yeah, completely, completely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. They won't be so falling. You can see knock back and uh, falling over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then um, I've got me, me second champion, uh, exactly the same setup. I had a bolt gun, I had a sub gun, dum dum rounds. Again, nobody pushes kin around. Because why would you not? Why would I not? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I've got uh, me, me first ganger, uh, so the drill kin, uh, plant buster, auto gun, um, and then. Again, it's on the Iron Head auto gun that. Uh, same game with me next uh, Drill King Ganga, uh, Plant Buster auto gun, and then Iron Head auto gun as usual. Uh, and then I've got me, me Juve, uh, me Digger Juve, uh, again, Stub Gun, Dum Dum Rounds, both Iron Head versions. And I've got the same again, another Digger Juve, Iron Head Stub Gun, Dum Dum Rounds. Uh, and then uh, lastly, I've got uh, me one of my third Gangas, so the Drill King Ganga, with uh, an Iron Head Bolt Pistol, an Iron Head Stub Gun, and Dum Dum Rounds. And then, yet again, I've got another Joe King Ganga with an iron stub gun, an iron bolt pistol, and an iron dum dum rounds. And everybody in the list has mesh armor except for the last two Gangas I just read out who don't have any armor. 
Yes, and that's actually because you stocked up on weapons. It's You've true. been doing quite well on the stealth. Yes. Because you stocked up on weapons yep. in your stash. Indeed. So um, I've, I've got quite a good stockpile, so if I buy any new gangers, literally for the next, honestly, about four or, four or five gangers, I don't have to pay to equip them. I've got all the stuff already and get a stash. Um, and I've not had anybody <laughs> been taken out of action yet at all. So I've been doing fairly well and keeping everybody nice. Do you know what the thing is? It's not the fact that you can just equip them like straight away. It's the fact that your guns are amazing. They are very good, yeah. yeah. They're very good. That yeah. vaguely good. Very, 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 no, very good. No, but very good. Very scarred. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Oh my god. With, with, with everything getting um, rapid fire, it's really good. And plus, with my settlement, I actually managed to pick up a, a bullet a bullet casing. What a bullet? Gun cutters. Bullet, yeah, bullet, bullet cutting. Bullet that was it, bullet cutting, yeah. Uh, which means um, I, I get free reroll on, on every ammo check. Um, so. It's not bad. For the first time, each each gang yeah. has to roll one, um, so it's not bad at all. Because obviously, with having a lot of bolt weapons in there, it's really useful. Steam yeah. is literally coming out of my ears at yeah. the moment. <laughs> literally coming out of the ears. So, wading into this melee is Calvin Ferrum, who had taken a bit of a kicking in the last game. So, Lucky Lucille was not so lucky. She got Death Maiden. And taken out of the game. The dog as well? Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. That was the biggest blow. <laughs> what did your dog's bit? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I got Ironhard Aegis, who's missing Max the dog in yeah. this game. <laughs> Max got Max. Ironhard Aegis has got Berserk skill that I gained in the last since the last time you guys yeah, have played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ironhard, Nerves of Steel. He's got Undersuit, Mesh Armor, and Low Sticks, because he's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's rocking around with a art, master crafted art hammer, so he's squashing people whenever he wants. Yeah. Smoke grenades and a stub gun for just knocking off Callum's <laughs> squats off ledges <laughs> yeah. when I can't get to them. I've then got, and I'm really missing the lack of max from this list. Yeah. <laughs> I've then got Gek, who is the corpse grinder of the, of the bunch, but he's not been doing so well actually. No. Not been grinding he's, many corpses. No, he's not. He's been running away in fear. Yeah. <laughs> Automatic fear. He's got a combi bolt gun, which is melter, subtype. He's got a stub gun as well for when that inevitably runs out of ammo. <laughs> yeah. He's a bullet lord, which means he can change his firepower dice to a three at the cost of going automatically out of ammo. Right, yeah. And <laughs> true grit. Yeah, hence the, the stub gun. gun. And true grit, so I can of roll two dice pick for injury rolls. Yeah. I've then got Kronos, my greenhorn, who's returning. He has gone to ballistic skill four with an upgrade. Sawn off shotgun, plant buster ammo because I'm terrified of zombies now. Yeah, and understandably so, they are. Are we going to get rat buster ammo, by the way? Because I'm terrified more of rats, in all fairness. Yeah, it just negates their, <laughs> negates their <laughs> minus one to hit. Yeah. I've then got Urina, who is my wrecker with flail, sawn off shotgun, demolition charge, and plant buster sawn off ammo. He's also gone up to weapon skill 4 plus, and Phil lives in fear of his demo charge, I'm going to say. <laughs> After that, after that, it reminds me of breaching charge in 30k when I had no idea what they did either. Yeah, it, it's good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from him, yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then got Marcus, my gunner specialist, who has got shotgun, normal shotgun that is, with plant buster ammo, because plant buster ammo, as we all say. Yeah, yeah. Then Tiny, the, my new greenhorn that replaced Opie after he got his head staved in. Yeah. Just like the Sims. Just like the Sims. <laughs> uh, he's then got Son of Shotgun and Plant Bus Drammel. I never went through any of my skills, do I have to? No. Nah, that's nah. Right. I mean, whatever. With that, I'm actually 100 creds down for Gang on the Table. So I got an extra random card. Yeah. Of which you two already know one of them. <laughs> because we all got the same. Or at least two of us got the same. As you said, we're playing the hitting the vein scenario. This time we're playing it on Metallis rather than the last game, which you saw it in Sector Mechanica. There'll be a central gas patch that we're all going to try and take basic actions to take gas out of the pile. You also don't drop your gas if you die, because no one's worried about taking it off you. I don't know if you've got any at the moment. Yeah. I'm going to take it from the central pile, so no one drops it. I mean, carry two. Oh, right? hey! Yeah, what's that? I mean, carry two as well. Yes, you can only carry two this game as well. Yeah. So that he's not. Right. She was one guy who's going, yeah. Yeah. So you, Mine. you might be pretty sorted here, because you've got so many bodies you can just throw in the middle that we might not be able to chew through them all. Then again, I'd like to prove that wrong. Yes. And <laughs> I would also like to prove that wrong. And with that, 
If you like watching the game, hit like, comment below, subscribe. It will make me make more of these videos and hopefully get these two on the channel more so that I can make those videos. If you really like it, you can subscribe to the Patreon in which you can get yourself a bouncy tray as well as access to the Discord to join in with all the bickering about this campaign and the various I other don't think things. Bickering. Mainly we're rat just, based. We just, we just keep on mainly rat based mainly We keep on wiping based. each of his tears when we spend three rounds trying to kill a single rat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can see all of that on the Discord and we'll get into the game. Okay, so this is the setup. We have the central gas pile in the middle and we roll two additional gas here and here, which each have two zombies with them. We then rolled for the computer terminals of which we've got an extra one. Yeah, Callum, one here, which ended up two inches from the edge. And then we scattered, or we took the direction, reversed it, yeah. and did 46 thinking, oh, it'll end up somewhere in the center of the board. It ended yeah. up here. Yeah. <laughs> Through the highest rolls any of us will have all game, I think. Definitely. And Callum, you deployed first. Yep. Can you give us a quick rundown of where you yep. deployed? So to just go through, I've got me champion with bolt gun here, and then I've got a ganger with a bolt pistol here. I then have uh, one of my jubes with stub gun here. The other one is right here, um, oh, yeah. as one of my gangs, uh, gang, um, jubes that we place near the middle. Oh, um, I then have my leader uh, with auto gun and plimpus rounds here. Um, I've then got um, both of my other gangers that have auto guns and plimpus rounds as well with them. And then lastly, I've got a champion with bolt gun and then my other ganger with bolt pistol. Okay, Phil deployed next. So, with his juve here. Juve with his fighting knife and stub gun and dum dum ammo. Then I've got my two Redemptionist Brethren with their shotguns and plant bus ammo. Shove the Cheb. Right near my priest who's just at the back here, who's got that butcher's cleaver, so I'm looking forward to getting to used to that. Then I've just kind of come together a little bit, so I've got Juve that's just got a stub gun. My Deacon that's got his eviscerator. Then another uh, Juve with dum dum and stub gun and fighting knife. Priest. Priest. Fatty. Fatty the voice. Uh, long glass dude here, two uh, brethren with blunder poles and a redemptionist brethren with a chain axe. Um, this redemptionist brethren, I've already played my tactics card, which means he has group activation one throughout the entire Ooh. game. Oh, that's good. So, on to my deployment with my six fighters. I've got Cronus sheltering behind this. Shipping container, that's what it's called. Words, words, Max. I've got Gep, who is standing next to the console ready to activate it immediately. <laughs> but tiny. And then I've decided to put my largest group of three, <laughs> my largest group, is gonna be here. And they're gonna try and make their way through this center to the gas, sheltering behind the door for the longest possible time. So over to priority, return one. I get three. I get three. I get three. <laughs> oh my god. I get four. I get one. Me and Phil roll on. Four. One. Right. So Phil goes first. We're always going to go to, we said the left, so that's, for you guys it's Phil's, it's the right, but that's Phil's left to Callum. So Phil will go first. I'm going to start by group activating my priest yes. with the two Redemptionist Brethren here. So uh, first one is going to move five. And then he's going to try and take a shot at this guy here. So that's the plant bus, uh, the, the zombie. Yeah. So I am in long range. So I don't get plus one, uh, plus two. It is a uh, scatter shot. So D6. D6 after rolling to hit. Right, so rolling to hit. Oh, so like four plus. Ammo dice. And we have an ammo dice. Yeah. Misses. Misses. Classic. Next dude. Repeat the same action, I'm going to guess. Exactly the same action. So he goes there. He should still be in range, which he is. So he's going to do exactly the same. Four up to hit. 
Misses. Yeah. And then uh, my priest is going to do a double action move. So move, move. Go, yeah, he's going to go five inches. But he's going to go three inches there. And then he's going to go his remaining seven here. And chub the chub. Chub the chub is going to follow him really nicely. <laughs> okay, so that is over to Callum. So, right. on to Callum's go. Yeah, so I'm going to activate my leader and with her group activate my uh, ganger. And so I'm going first with the ganger. Um, I'm actually just going to aim and shoot at the plant leaf zombie. So, so what's yeah. that with? Uh, that is with the uh, Ironhead Auto Gun. Um, so going with this, uh, I will be using the Plant Buster ammo though. Um, so it's still Rapid Fire 1. So, um, because I'm aiming, I will actually be hitting on a 3 up. Yeah. Which does hit for only 1, sadly. Um, so it's Strength 3 versus Toughness 3, so I'll be winning on a 4. Which doesn't win. Okay. Um, and next I'll be going with my leader, who is also just going to aim and shoot at the same zombie. So again, exactly the same, uh, Plant Buster Auto Gun. Uh, this time, however, because um, I'm aiming, I'll be hitting on a two. Okay. Which does hit for three times this turn as well, which is a lot nicer. Uh, same again, so Toughness 3 versus uh, Strength 3, so on fours, for three wounds. Uh, so there's no armour, and it does have it defoliate. Yes, so three yep. injury dice, yep. and we'll just take the results of the injury dice. And there's a dead on there. Yeah, so leader gets plus one XP. Yep, that's very nice. Didn't and that's that one zombie. zombie gone already. So that's over to my go, of which gas prices have been really low up to now in this campaign. Yep. So I'm going to immediately activate Gep, who's going to access the terminal, or at least attempt to. So he activates that with his intelligence of seven plus, and he doesn't activate it for this turn. And then he has a second action. He's just gonna stay there. He's just gonna, oh no, he's gonna take cover. <laughs> he's gonna take cover behind the console. So that's over to Phil and your first, uh, your second activation. Uh, group activation again. I'm gonna use my Deacon and use the Juve. The Juve is going to walk up to the door Activate. Activate the door. That's their turn done. And the deacon now is going to double move and get to 10, which is here. Okay, so that's Phil's group activation. Now Callum's second. Uh, so I'm going to activate uh, this last ganger that wasn't activated before. Again, with an auto gun and plant buster ammo. Um, he is just going to hop to. So, so that's you his know first she's that guy in the back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, and he is gonna try and shoot at that plant leaf zombie. Um, so it will be um, a minus two because he has got quite a lot of cover due to that crate. Okay. So uh, I will be hitting on a six. Give it a go. Oh, nope, no, it's just not a hit, but it would have been a nice one. It's looking um, that you actually moved. <laughs> it's exactly otherwise that would have been quite bad for my uh, for my other ganger there. But no, that's that's it. That's this turn. Okay, so over to mine. I'm going to activate Cronus with his mighty intelligence of eight. He's going to move to the terminal and attempt to activate it. No. <laughs> God, gas price wants to stay low this campaign. You're going to break some keys on that keyboard in a minute. I know. Just hammering it. Uh, I am going to activate my juve. Ooh. First juve activation. Phil moves to the gas. <laughs> And let, let me use my psychic powers here. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you mind the ghast. Yeah. You mind the ghast. Hey, 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 so he's picking up the ghast. Okay, so Phil's dude picks up one of his total of two. Now, is he gonna use that ghast and snarfle some and gain the psychic power? No, no. There is one person that I'm aiming to do that with for us today. <laughs> okay. So that is over to Calum again. Yep, so um, I'm gonna activate my dude here as well. And in the interests of not starting a war straight away, <laughs> uh, I'm going to opt to, to, to not instantly kill you. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so instead, I'm going to do my movement of four, so the first two inches, and then the next two. And then with that last four inches, I am going to pop myself just at the edge there, and then that's the end of my turn. So this is a 
a friendly game now. For now. Friendly game. For now. I have not yet activated them. Nope. <laughs> so, I'm going to continue the friendly antics, actually. My wrecker is going to double move and just end up at this doorway. Because I like surprising people with demo charges. Move. We need to move. Yep. We need to move quick. <laughs> uh, my turn? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to activate Dandelion. Dandy, Dandelion? <laughs> <laughs> he is going to do a group activation because one of my tactics cards and I gave it to him. Yeah. He, do you, have you just called him Dandelion now? Oh. No, 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 it's actually. It's actually. It's actually. Uh, uh, it's actually on my thing. Um, so, group activation. Uh, he's going to move 10 straight away, just double move, bump, and he's going to move 10 as well, bump, bump, is apparently the noise of the day. That's how they uh, roll. Over to Callum. Right, okay, so I'm going to group activate my champion uh, uh, with a um, bolt gun with my ganger with bolt pistol, and they are simply just going to double move just to start trying to get into the action. So for the first four inches, and then... Let's give him a bit of a nicer movement. The next four, and then the same with this bolt pistol ganga. First four inches, and then the next four. And that's my turn. Okay, so next my go, of which I'm going to activate, mm -hmm, use my brain powers, Aegis, who's gonna double move to the doorway. Oh, is it nine inch ten? <laughs> So the nine of his ten takes him to here, and his extra inch takes him that extra inch, surprisingly. Shattering stuff for everyone's world views here. Good old tasty double move, it's brand new, never been seen before. You might as well just cut out this first turn, aren't you? You might as well just cut it out. <laughs> what, well, you don't like the movement turn? I what? know, that's the tactical bit, Phil. Phil doesn't like tactics, you no, heard it here first. He hates them. <laughs> that's why I play Fisher Price Armies. Uh, Advating my Cordor Brethren, and he is, surprisingly, Double moved. Let, let me pass it, Callum. You guys in the corner are gonna double Ooh, move. Oh no, I'm gonna show my Jeep here actually. Ooh. My Jeep with stub pistol. Uh, he uh, might might be double moving, he might not be. Uh, so with his first just here. Um, and yep, yeah, I'm actually just gonna take a shot. No, that's a very bad idea, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna move him far enough forward, he becomes the target because he will get munched. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think I may. Um, Hasn't he got like a rapid fire 19 bolt pistol? Um, he's, he's only got stub gun, this guy. Rapid fire. But he's still, still a very good stub, yeah. I think I will. Yeah, so, like everyone else is yeah stub instead, what I'll do is I will move his full movement up, just get him a bit of a better angle, and he will actually try and shoot the plant loose zombie. Okay. Um, so, I, before, I, I will be going with a normal stub gun. Yeah. Uh, rather than the dump them ammo because they're, they're only tough as three, it doesn't really matter. Um, he says before rolling a three to wound. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, so. Um, he's within short range, so you get plus two. It will be uh, minus one for the cover because he's missing a bit of him. Uh, so hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. Does hit? Uh, there is an ammo check in there. Um, so so to wound first. Yes. Uh, so on four. Does wound. Ooh. Um, let's see Ooh. what the one die can do. Yep, yeah, it's fine. He'll, he'll get knocked down. I'll take it. <laughs> Good enough against the friendly zombie. Yep, yeah, there we go. And then the ammo check. Uh, does does go out of ammo, but I will get it back next time instantly with with yeah, the with it's plentiful. Yeah, luckily it's plentiful. So yeah. Yeah. Good so. job. I picked the normal ammo as well. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been plentiful. So. Yes. So, oh, it's my final activation. And it's going to be a big consideration phase before double moving Marcus with his shotgun to right next to Aegis. So uh, what I'm going to do here, because I realise I've just penned myself in, with the person with the long glass, I'm just going to move him five inches, and I'm going to move him five inches. There. OK. And just one activation this turn? Yes, just one, like, one activation. Right, cool. Um, I'm going to activate my Ganger with Bolt Pistol. Yes. Just on his own, and I'm just going to, you heard it here before, folks, double move. <laughs> Just double move, just to here. Okay. Right, that's my activation. Uh, I'm out to Max Bill. Yeah, uh, I have got a Juve who is going to preach. Pray. Pray. Yes. So you get plus 
you get three dice at the end of the yeah, turn. Yeah, I get right? three dice for the end of the turn instead of that, which is a double action, so he doesn't do anything. Right. So, Callum? Right, okay. I could shoot you quite easily. I can move this guy out, shoot you. But, okay. in the interest of, of not escalate things first turn so heavily. I think we're all here to get gassed. Right, we're all here to get gassed. Right, we're all, <laughs> so all, we're all, we're all prospects. Oh, I'm not out, I've got my juice still, but right, go yeah, on. Right, but so, yep, so as I said, we're all here to get gassed. So just in the, in the interest of that, I'm just going to double move. Uh, just. Into a position that will ensure Phil just, can't. Just, <laughs> well, you can't shoot my Jew, Phil. Otherwise, I'll blast you. Yeah, just, just to just hit. Just blast. Just in case we do need to do need to advance that way. Okay. For some reason. For some. For some, for reason. some reason. For some reason. Okay. So that is then my Jew activating, and I'm gonna move towards the ghast. Yes, understandable. So I'm gonna go two. Get me to here. Four inches gets me to here. And then I'm gonna take cover action here, which is a half move and then go to ground. So Phil. Last act of activation now, which is gonna be my priest. My priest is gonna double move. He's just gonna stomp. Well, he can get to there. Okay. That's where he's gonna go. And Callum, have you got anything Nope, on? I've moved You're him. Out. Yep. Right, so. Time for Phil to roll a million prayer dice. So, is pass, it five or? Yeah, pass. <laughs> pass. 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 Oh, how many is that? So I've got three, six, I've got nine, and I get to re roll one of them because of the cherub. <laughs> Ten. Ten. <laughs> so, Phil started off with an amount because of his priest being on the board. No, no, no it's and not on the board, it's just in the gang. Right, okay. So now you're on 10 prayer dice, yeah. which is... Quite a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling scared about it. <laughs> okay, I mean, considering he's got a maximum of 13 dice he can have and he's got 10 first turn, it's quite good. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. And we will do the Brainleaf Zombie phase. So this Brainleaf Zombie stands up and moves 2d6. So... Ah. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, he's going straight into my juve. Yes. So he needs a five to hit, does the brain lead zombie. One hit. hit, one hit. Strength three, toughness four. Yep. Does wound. And Callum's armor save. Yep, five up. Nope. No. So it does an injury dice. He's seriously injured. Seriously injured. So the zombie stamps and creates another zombie to take an act by trap action this game. So sadly my Majuve has gone, which means I will roll on his table to see what Yeah, which dice is high and which one's low? Um, so this dice will roll first will be high. So Six that's three. 30. 32. Two. Which looking at the table is a green procedure, so I need to recover it. Cool. So not the worst of results. Could definitely be worse, yeah. Yeah, and um, that is the first casualty I've taken. in three cycles Kellen has taken. Yep. From a brainly zombie, not even from one of us. Yep, from a zombie. And on to Phil Callum, we'll let you roll these over here. Yep. Because you deserve to be able to control these zombies. Right, percent. so uh, for this, this one, one this is the we'll movement. go into this one here. You've got you seven like inches, my priest. You Obviously, get seven. get seven. Yep. Because that's only um, half it. Yeah, you don't you the move. So, two right. attacks on the charge. Yep, uh, so hitting on fives, wasn't it? Yes. So, one hit. Yeah, uh, it's all coming up again. Three toughness, three. Yeah. yeah so on a four. Wounds. Okay. So the lose. zombie takes Just a wound. wound. Yep. Uh, the priest. Yeah. Yeah. Your priest takes a wound. Yeah. The zombie takes it off him, and your priest strikes back. Yeah. With his uh, two attacks, and he has a stub gun, which I'll roll separately just for easy ease. ease. He hits on twos because he got an increase to his weapon skill. So he hits with one. <laughs> of course. And then uh, the pistol. The pistol with the dum dum ammo. He hits. So it is threes, because he's plus on both. both. On both. Both two wounds. Uh, the butcher's cleaver does two damage. So it's two wounds from the butcher's cleaver. Yeah. And also it does uh, one with the dum dum. Yes, yeah, so three injury dice. Here they are. See what he does. You need a skull. Seriously oh, injured. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Do you know Seriously course injured. Piece of brain leaf. 
Of course it's doing. And the other brain leaves on the yep. move. Um, and into you, this guy here yep. with what, your eviscerator. What, what with your eviscerator. He needs an eight. An eight. Uh, an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Of course! Of course! <laughs> right, um, so two attacks on charge yes. hit on fives. Uh, one hit again. It's um, looking fairly tough, similar. Toughest three, ten, three, so on a four. Wounds. Right, so he just takes a wound. He just takes a wound as and well. And strikes back with his eviscerator. Bastard! <laughs> uh, fours, so one hits. Uh, threes. He's strength six, is he? Uh, twos. If he's twenty. No, he's not. He's, he's oh. plus one strength. Oh. He doesn't have that. So the brain leaf t zombie is on an absolute tear. This game. Phil does no wounds back, and he's over into priority for turn two. We'll all roll it in this one. One, five, five. So I roll see. again. Yep. I uh, didn't. I go first last time. Oh, you did. Maybe. So Callum gets it. So I go first. Right. Cool. That is, th this much is true. Well done, Bill. Yeah. So, uh, what I'm going to do then is, first things first, I'm going to activate my leader, um, who is also going to activate this ganger in front. Have you only got group activation one? Uh, I have, but I kind of don't want to activate all of them at once. Just, think, just to see what happens, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know I can, I know it is, I can just move them afterwards, yeah. but I just, also because it spreads out the turn a little bit yeah. as well. So I'll go with my leader first. Uh, what I'm going to do is aim, shoot at the first zombie. Okay. So I would be hitting another three and then hitting another two. And this is with the plant buster rounds on the organ. So it does hit, only for one though. Um, so uh, it's turn three, toughness three, so on a four. Doesn't wound. And then I'll next do the exact same with my ganger in front, which is this one here. So again, aim, shoot. Oh. Um, Misses. Four, aim, it does miss, yeah, because it would go four down to three. So I need. Oh, no, aim, if you're at short range as well. So it does hit. Uh, let me check short range. Yes, it will be. Yes, you are correct. I'm an idiot. Times. Yes. So it does hit. Uh, again on fours. Uh, for just one. Um, it will go straight through though. Yeah, so injury dice. And yes. see what it does. And so this will do um, the actual result. Yes. Um, serious injury. Yes. So, okay. And then that's that's my activation because I am shot with both of them. Okay, so my activation. I'm going to activate my Juve, who's going to stand up and take a piece of gas because I want that gas before someone blasts him. Yep. <laughs> and I just started blasting. <laughs> and then over to Phil. Right, I am going to... Blast my Juve. No. <laughs> uh, I think I'm out of range, actually. I am to do a group activation, so I'm going to activate my priest. Yes. I'm going to do an article of faith. Okay. Which means that I re-roll all failed to wounds with chain weapons. Right. Okay. So it's on a five up. Goes off. Right. Because you add all the dice. Like you add all the dice. yeah. You add all the dice together. So he can now re-roll all his failed to wounds with his chain weapon. And then to make sure that this thing flipping dies as well. Yeah. I'm going to play. Uh, divine Guidance, which means that I re-roll all natural ones. Right. For this, turn, for this attack. For this turn. Until the end of the fight is activation, he re-rolls re right. all natural ones. So I'm hitting on twos, re-rolling those <laughs> ones. <laughs> Callum nods in complete yeah. agreement that that was the best choice to do. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> so we'll go with his uh, Torture's Cleaver first. So re-rolling those natural ones, and he hits with two, and then with the dum dum ammo there. So he's hitting on re-rolling those ones. So re-rolling <laughs> that one. There we go. <laughs> As if he actually needed it. And <laughs> right, so to wounds. It's on threes. Yeah. Uh, re-rolling the black dice. Because they're the chains. They're the change. So re rolling all natural ones, by the way. Right. So I get to re roll them. The old, <laughs> old wound. So I've got now. So that's two for each chain. Two, weapon. two for the butcher's cleaver. So I hit and wounded twice with that. So I've got four and then one for this dum dum. Okay. 
shot. Oh, you are kidding me. You are <laughs> absolutely kidding me. Well, you couldn't have killed it anyway, because it would have... No, no, you got a score, it. could have then Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So the brain leaves zombie... No, no, the brain leaves zombie stays stood up. Yeah. You get to then um, come back. No. It misses twice. Yeah. As is Christ. As is tradition, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these these fad zone hazards are horrific. Yeah. So onto your Chub the Chebs activation. So Chub the Cheb. Double move. To the gas. To the gas. Roll your cool check to see if you become broken at the end of the turn. I'm telling you now I'm not. I, I, I will check it. Right. On eight, I am I am not broken. I'm not quite, quite all right, roll. It's all over Callum. Right, so uh, my game plan here is to shoot shoot this uh, shoot this last um, free leaf zombie with this guy. So we'll see what happens. I am not going to aim. Just going for a normal shot. Um, we'll just check the range. Okay. I am within shot, so we'll be getting plus one. Hit on threes. Hit on threes. Which does hit with an ammo check. Uh, so wounding on fours. Does a wound. Um, and what I will do, uh, so what I am going to do instead is actually just start moving away. Uh, just to make it a little bit more awkward for them. Right, and that's, that's, that's my go. That's, that's how we go. Yep. So I'm going to stand up and activate with Gap. He's going to again attempt to activate this terminal. And he might do. He does on an intelligence of seven. So I'm going to try and increase the price of gas in the campaign. It's currently at seven. Six. Six. Oh, is it six? Yeah, it's at six. I'm going to try and make it seven. <laughs> I think it has no effect <laughs> with that roll. It has no effect on the gas. And that is over to Phil. So Phil, where are you, what are you going to do about these zombies? Right, so I'm going to group activate. I'm going to use uh, this guy here, my deacon, and he's going to activate as well. This, shotgun ganger. The shotgun ganger. So what we're going to do is use devotional frenzy. So he gets D3 to his weapon skill and cool and I think willpower but as well. For now weapon. But, but for now weapon skill. But also he's going to do an article of faith because I need to do that first, which is re-rolling his uh, chain, weapon. chain weapon attacks. So what do you need? Five. Oh, definitely that. <laughs> Got, gone off. So now D3 to his weapon skill. Yep. So it gets plus two to his weapon skill. So his weapon skill goes down to two plus. Okay. So he's got. Can you only do this once again? No, every turn. Right. But the idea is that you can always take a damage one hit every single turn. Ah, oh, so you'll take the damage one after this. Yeah. Okay. So roll your attacks on the zombie. Two hits. Two hits. It's. Not re-rolling to hit, it's re-rolling to wound, isn't it? Sorry for the article of faith. Right, go on. So threes, re-rolling that. So two. Two wounds that are all too out of actions because you have a seven weapon. I do. Oh. Whoa. It's dead. <laughs> Finally, well, you have to you now have to stamp because out of action is seriously injured for a brain leave. Yeah, yeah, so now, so now stamp you stamp. Yeah. To take up all my activations. And then your shotgun guy. Well, I, I, he was on the insurance actually, um, so he's just going to move out of here, and uh, we will never. Oh, you could fire into the combat. Uh, so the redemptionist guy here is going to shoot at the brain leave zombie. Okay. I'm in short range, so I'm hitting on twos. Okay. And hoping to hit. And there's nothing I can do with regards to my um, faith. faith to change that. It hits. I think it goes out of ammo as well. It takes an ammo check at least. Yeah. So how many hits do you get? Two. Is it not? <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> Force the wound. He wounds. And what is defining <laughs> ammo? So what does it do? A flesh wound. A flesh wound, so it's toughness two. And that's over to Callum's go. Uh, I've still got another Oh, you do um, still have another go. So have another move with him. So I'll do the um, ammo check now, which is on a... He's not pinned, they never get pinned. All right. So the ammo check for the plant buster. Great. He's out for this game at least. Scarce. 
So yes. just for this game. I just for this game. Uh, okay, so next activation of that guy. Who just move, <laughs> moves up to lend moral support to the leader. Yeah. And over to Callum. Yep, so um, I'm going to activate uh, just my Ganga with Bolt Pistol here. And honestly, I think I'm going to have to try and move up and try and support them at, at, at all, basically. Um, so I'm just going to be double moving uh, just just to here. Just so that guy, just so everybody at least has somebody next to them, just in case they get killed, they can't get stabbed again. Okay. So. so into my activation, the tube's gone, the terminal's gone. I need to start thinking what actually to do. So my second juve is going to activate because he's the the most minimal risk to, to everyone and he's just going to sprint forward 12 to get him to here and both put a, a slight bit of pressure on but also not doing anything aggressive up to now so over to phil he is going to move so this is your other shotgun guy? Yeah, yeah, my other shotgun guy with Plant Buster ammo is going to move here. Yeah. He's going to shoot. So two up again, because you're in short range. Yep. Yeah. Hit. Hit. How many scatter shots? Three. Two wounds. <laughs> and what's it? Oh. Flesh wound. <laughs> Oh. Flesh wound. So it's so no. dead because it's yeah. already taken a flesh wound. Yep. So that is an experience for Ooh. redemptionist. Who is an absolute lifesaver for Phil, it <laughs> Yeah, he's doing pretty well, look at that. And Callum. Um, so I'm going to fit my Juve in the middle. Yes. And I'm going to get one da uh, one gas with his first action. Yeah. Now, I'm right saying it's a simple action, isn't it? He's basic, so it's you can twice. Yeah. So as I said, yeah. So like his first one's going to get that. And his next one... Uh, honestly, I think I'm just gonna. I don't really want to move him away, but um, yeah, he, he's just gonna scooch just a little bit, just here. That's it. Why not? Okay. Do you want to take cover with that? Actually? Uh, yes, I will. In fact, yeah, that's correct. So I use the half his movement. Yes. I'll just take cover, just there. Okay. So that's over to my go. I've still got the sight relief going on over here, to be honest. Yeah, I know you. <laughs> I think that they're easier to kill than they're really not. So, my ganger here is going to move to the door and open the door. That's Marcus, and over to Phil's go. Uh, okay, so I'm going to pick up another gas with him. So my second gas. Him, second yeah. gas. And then he's gonna get straight out of dodge. So he gets to move six inches, which <laughs> comes here for four. And then two just round. Yeah. Because you're terrified of that double <coughs> charge, aren't you? I am absolutely petrified of it, so I'm trying to move as quickly as possible out of the way. Tell him, over to you. Um, so I'm gonna activate, um, I'm gonna group activate both of these guys. Uh, that's my uh, champion with bolt gun and my ganger with bolt pistol. Yes. And they are just gonna double move just to get a bit of an eyes on. So my champion is just gonna move to here. And then this ganger is also gonna move up, I think. I think I we don't need any help against the brain leaf zombies in the back. Um, I, I don't I don't think I don't think a bolt pistol's gonna do too much against them, really. Oh, I, I think it would murder it. I don't know. I, I, I really don't think so. <laughs> go nearer to the brain leaves. Um, go for it. No, I'm gonna go to the middle. Uh, yep. Yeah, so I'm just gonna just gonna sit these two just here. That's my activations. Okay. So that's over to me, and my wrecker is going to activate, and he's actually going to move his nine to here, and he's going to pick up a gas. Is Urina right? I'd just like to point out to everyone. No, no aggression. No aggression no, so far. No aggression has happened. I nope. think I think our uh, idiot mistakes of taking the plant the yeah. zombie lightly yeah. is our. Oh, there'll be some free XP. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. But yeah. Can I start dripping my chain axes in uh, plant buster? Yeah. Please. 
<laughs> Maybe next game. <laughs> uh, my goal, I'm going to activate, group activate with this guy here, uh, and he's going to activate this one here. The blunder bastard. The blunder bastard. So we're going to go to there for a double move. Okay. And then and the, blunder uh, the blunder bastard is going to, I've, I've actually only wanted to move five, but I've actually just measured ten, so he's going to measure, he's going to go to his ten there. Sorry, that's my fault. He doesn't have to, you can move him within that if you would like. Yeah, I'm going to force you to get closer to us with your, your blunder pole. <laughs> but the thing is though, like, I wasn't going to declare a double move, but I measured the double move, so don't matter, I'm going to do it that way. It feels, it feels, it feels, scream at him online. It feels better for me that I did it wrong. This is her by the way. <laughs> the floppy stitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, and then with my uh, last Gengar that I've got to activate, which is this, uh, sorry, this is my champion, sorry, with Bolt Gun. Uh, he's just going to double move again just to get into the action. Um, so just first move and then second move. And this reposition is actually really costing you some board position. It, well, I didn't have much to begin with, um, but I don't really want to push your way um, just because I'm quite happy for you to to kind of have have that area. Murdered my own guy by attacking Brainly Zombies. Uh, well, they're both dead, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 not now. now. Yeah, but, uh, now. but... But now this is going to spread out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I, I really want to get a handle on this. We've got so. Resident Evil going on over Exactly, here, yeah, literally, yeah. so... So I'm going to activate with Aegis, who is going to single move, which might surprise Bill. And he moves his five... Just to just outside the doorway. Here. So he gets there, and then, oh, then I'm going to throw a smoke grenade. Ooh! Right? Okay. So he throws a smoke grenade, he can go six inches, and I'm going to actually center it on the gas pile. Okay. Right. So he needs a three plus to hit. The six inches gets it right into the centre of the gas. So three plus to hit, he does. And then I need to take an ammo check for his smoke grenade because it automatically has to take one. So that's a four plus. No, so no more smoke grenades this turn. And we'll get back with the smoke. So the smoke is down and it is over to Phil's activation. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna double move with another blunder bastard. So he's stacking up the flame weapons behind the smoke. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know, we'll see how long the truce lasts there. <laughs> I feel like, um, I, I'm fully activated. I'm You're out. Here. I am out. I'm not. I've got more activations to do. Funny that, a, a cardinal gang with a lot of activations. Yeah. yeah. Who didn't see that coming? So, Priest is double moving and going there. Uh, Juve... ...is going there. Another Juve. He's not praying this turn. No, he's not. Because there are two people that have gone out of action. I get an extra two dice anyway due to my path. Oh. So there's no point. Now. So there. And finally the long glass guy. Just, you know, so we stay friends. Can't yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, after all, my, my bolt gun versus your las, la, long lads is, is, is quite comparable. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'll yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, that is that my is, That is that. So, Phil's faith dies first because he's dying to do it. <laughs> Eight. And then you get, do you get extras or re-rolls? I get, I get one re-roll because of the cherub. Yeah. And because I've got two people that have gone out of action. Mm. Which are these here? Yeah, I get extra dice for that. It's any enemy fighters that go out as well. Mm. So I should have actually technically rolled an extra one for that. But yeah, you got a lot last turn. Yeah. <laughs> and he gets a lot this turn. Two, three, four, five. And then yeah, he gets re for the chip. And he does. How many is that total now, Phil? Uh, three. Six, ten, again. There you go. Well, and didn't I need him last turn as well? So you did. yeah. So Phil, you can do the damage to Callum this turn. Yep, <laughs> if you like. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Do you want? Do you want to go for it? Uh, who is? Um, will you hate me if I do it? No. Okay. So no, it's not. It's not. You know. So uh, he so, gets up. Yeah. And moves half. 
So roll 2d6 and it's half. So he moves two. Right, that's good. So it's yeah, just, it's uh, he just goes to that there because he's actually two each tiles. Yep. Yes. And the second one here. Seven. 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 So I think that's going to get him. Um, yeah, you can get in with that guy. I'm just looking who's nearer. It will be this guy. Okay. So he gets his two attacks. Yep. Hitting on fives. Do you want to do it on this one here? If you go. The fives, no fear, and Callum back. Yep, so reaction attacks back. Um, I'm actually going to use one of my cards. Okay. Because I feel like it's probably quite a good choice. <laughs> um, so, um, it's called Get Get Back. Uh, plays gang tactic when a friendly fighter is making reaction attacks before rolling any dice. For the duration of this attack, the fighter's attacks gain a knockback trait. Okay. Might be actually quite useful. Uh, it gets you out of combat, doesn't it? Exactly, and then I can shoot them, which yes. is, is what I want to do. Shoot uh, combat, mate. Shoot me in combat. Yeah. The yeah I wish. Yeah, I wish. Um, so uh, I'm only getting uh, one attack. Yeah. It's just a ganger hitting on a four. Doesn't hit. No. So there you go. That's that. And no knockbacks. He didn't roll. And anymore. no knockback. So thank you, card. Oh, oh no. So then, does the smoke disappear? No. 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 It sticks around, <coughs> ensuring another turn of surprises. No neutrality at all. Doesn't ensure that. So, on to priority for turn three. So, priority turn three. Whee! Whee, <laughs> four. Come on, Callum. Yes! Right, ready to I go before Phil. Right. I go before Phil. So. Is this so you can. Because you think I'm going to, like, blunder you or something? I don't think you're going to blunder me. <laughs> I, gonna, I know you're going to. I'm not going to blunder anyone. Sure. I'm not going to blunder anyone. I'm going to blunder into many situations. Right. So Callum first. First thing I'm going to activate is me juve. Yeah. So I can pick up the second gas before he immediately dies, most likely. Yeah. Right. Um, and then. Um, so he stands up. Yes. Picks up the gas. So he stands up, picks up the gas, and that will be his his activation. Turn. Yep. I'm going to activate. With you're in a my wrecker who's gonna pick up a ghast and fly off to a round hit. <laughs> yeah. So then that is Bill's activation, that's his second ghast for Urina. What does <laughs> Phil do? Because I, I know this this is the gnawing sort of well, I, I, I should make friends, but also I could shoot that guy. <laughs> I'm going to not group activate, I'm going to move my juve. Oh, backwards. 12 inches here. Okay. Okay, so over to Callum. Right, okay. He's so got the brain leaf threat. It's true, it is true. So I'm going to activate this ganger here. Yep. And he is going to shoot at this the zombie. The rear zombie. Yes. And that will be within an inch of the other zombie. Yes. Just in case it's yeah. straight shots and I uh, get to hit another one just, as well. Just so happens. Just, yeah. just so happens. And then I find one. So you can put your... No. Never split shots. No, you can spread it after you You can spread it I'll after you it as well. Hit. Yeah. 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 Oh, we are, we are. We'll see. If it's within one inch, you can spread rapid right. fire across. Um, I will be aiming. Yeah. So it will be on. Um, it will be within short range as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so it will go from a four up to a two up. Yes. He gets a so one. He gets a one. And it's a stray shot. Does it hit the other zombie? Yes. Let's have a look. Uh, so again, it will be still on a two. Yes. Yep. Does. No, it doesn't. It's a one to three. Oh, is it a one to three? And for the second shot, because you roll separately for each. Of right. And we are. Yep. So the second one does hit. So then it wounds on a four. Yep. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> of course not. Just, uh, just, yeah. yeah. Next, my juve here is going to pick up a ghast. So that's Cronus' second ghast. Do I kick off festivities? I really want to kick off festivities. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? Demo charge, right? No. no one's got the demo charge. Oh, is it right? He's going to move back while the smoke is there. Right. Yeah. And stay there. So he's over to Phil's. 
I really want to start shooting. <laughs> <laughs> really want to start shooting. Um, well, it's like, how long do we hold out? Like, because eventually one of us has to. I, I'm quite happy to, to not, not shoot this We've game. And I, I was from the I, start as well. It's not just because I've lost a guy. Right. Yeah, yeah. I could have I could have shot I had a very good shot at the start on you and I was like, no, you know what? I, I could have seen literally three or four of you guys. You, you, you like, could have, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, you, you know you what? You could have, you could have. And I was like, you know what? We are all here for the same reason, right? And one it's to not die, right? And two it's to get gassed. And right now it's a good opportunity, <laughs> right? The wind, we can't the wind's not of... blasting people on the yeah. channel. We can't have the game of just picking up gas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh... You're the one with the bomb. Okay, so I'm going to activate the Cordo Brethren. The yep, Thunder Brethren. There we go. We have the Thunder Brethren. Purgation round. He's going to take a shot. Okay. Can I have a template? Oh, it hits. Yeah, is it, so the flame template, is it the flaming one? Yeah. So it's time for festivities to start, it seems. <laughs> So it gets Callum's Juve, who is at least already picked up the second guy. Yes, that's why I activated him first, just yeah. in case. Well, that's, yeah, that's why I did my rank. <laughs> so, uh, ammo check. Yes. Or ammo guys, he's I'm fine. He's fine. Uh, to first. Four. So it's fives. Yes. No, no, but does he set on fire? Yes. Yes, right, so I am on fire. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> ah! So he uh, and then, yep. and then I'm gonna the rest of my activation move into the centre <laughs> of the gas pile, into the smoke. Okay. <laughs> so over to Callum. Any right. retribution? Yes. So I am gonna activate my champion. Yeah. I'm going to group activate with my Ganger. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is the champion with the mono sight, so I will be aiming. Yes. And he is going to shoot with his bolt gun at this gentleman here. Okay. So, I, only, I only literally just bought him. I've got no yeah. attachment to that guy whatsoever. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. Um, so, um, it is. Sorry, it's barely a moment. Yep, so I'm just going to check whether it was in shot. Um, it is indeed just within shot, so I will be getting plus one. To that. Are you aiming? Or? I am aiming. Um, it will be minus one due to just a little bit of cover on him, but I am at plus three. Um, oh dear, so, he's... so, yeah, so hit on twos. Take that back. Hit on twos. Hits for three times. Um, strength four, toughness three. Yeah. So threes for one. Do you have armor on him? Yeah, I've got Nope. No, 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 I'm yeah. dead. <laughs> and I'm going to take this time, Callum, yep. to play my click card. Yep. So you count as automatically failing. Cool. Or you go out of ammo as if failed an ammo check. Right, cool. Um, so do I get to re-roll then? Because as if that would have failed. Do you want to say? Uh, what do you think? Or does it just instantly put me out of ammo? It just puts you out Did of you ammo. Did you put out right, yeah. It's like yeah. saying that you can you can still reload. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So I've still got my re-roll on it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Right. Okay, that's fine. So I need to take a a cool a check. A cool check for that brethren there. The other blunder bastard. So they have a cool of eight. Okay. So two d six. Love it. Love it. Yep. Completely love it. Fair enough. Uh, uh, whatever. That's just the, that's just the new guy. That's really not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to run. Uh, also, I'll do the. Um, Injury for him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yellow uh, is the tens. Forty-five. The sheets behind you for now. Yeah. It's on, on top. On top. Forty-five. Oh, four, not good enough. Yeah, fair enough. He go grievous injury into recovery. Yes. <laughs> yes, not <that was> serious. <laughs> Forever lasting damage. <laughs> Right. Um, so I'm going to finish off because oh. I double activated. Yes. So we'll activate my gang with bolt pistol. Oh, that's why you wanted to run away. I don't. Yeah. Um, so he is just going to be. Um, so not high enough, is it, to cause me any issues? No, no, no. You said. Um, so I will move just the full movement just to here. Um, if I can get him to stay. And is that a ganger or a juke? This is a ganger. He's just going to stay there. Okay. Um, and he is going to take a shot with his bolt pistol on this blunder bastard. Okay. Yep, fair enough. 
So the bolt is still into the blunderbuss. Yep. So it's just a gang that's hitting on a three, and I can't aim obviously because I'm moving or anything like that. There's no cover modifying this though, no, so it is just no, a straight no. shot. It doesn't wound. It doesn't hit. Is it, it doesn't hit, sorry, yeah. Um, it's not within six or anything like that because it is um, just yeah. out. Um, so, yeah, sadly, that is just a miss. I'm not taking an ammo check though, at least. But. Yeah, and that's over to me. Do I get involved in these festivities yet? Let's bring it on, Max. Let's Marvin Gaye and get it on. Um, um, um. See, I sort of want ages to pick up a piece of. Uh, your, the, the trouble is, your blunder pulley stood right on top of the gas. And these present a lot of problems. Good charging. I can charge him, but I can't strike. So, <laughs> I mean, he, 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 he can't do much either. So. He's gone, remember? Yeah, that, that one has activated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dead. I'm going to activate Aegis, who is going to group activate with Tiny. So Aegis is going to move into the smoke and pick up a piece of gas. Tiny is then going to activate and move there into the smoke and pick up a piece of gas. And that's over to Phil's go. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that Phil He's gonna blunder bastard right into Callum yeah. instead of me. <laughs> Grudge is held for multiple games. He's gonna move five inches. Bigger <laughs> okay. Yeah. God, I wish I got yeah. any god guns like this. Uh, <laughs> ammo check. So it has to do an ammo check. Uh, and then it's two wounds. One, the yellow's the uh, Jew, yeah. the Ganga, the other one's the champion, okay? Yeah, okay. Both of them have got wounds. Right, cool. So Callum's uh, armor saves. Yep, so two five ganger. ups. Have a bolt. Just, oh yeah, uh, so you can get first. Yeah. Yes. Get first, so on a five. Nope. And, and then champion. champion. Nope. Nope. And they both pinned by that attack. Yes. Uh, so, what? The wound on the ganger then? Yep. Let's yeah. see what happens. Seriously, Seriously injured. injured. And then armor. And the champion. And the champion will just oh, leave the, the wound. Yeah. And do they then go on fire? Which one? Oh, they both so They both go on fire. Yep, yeah. okay. Oh, oh. And now I need to do the ammo check for his yes. big What is your now? ammo? Six up. It goes out of ammo. No more me. flaming from that one, at least. I've not even got anything nasty I can do to, <laughs> to Phil. I shouldn't have clicked Callum at that point. I shouldn't have clicked Phil with his horrible purgation pole. So that is over to Callum. You're yep. gone. Okay, uh, so I'm going to activate my champion here, um, who is going to... Forget about the brain move zombies. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel, I feel like I... I... Mm. Vengeance! Yeah. No, 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 I, I, feel, I feel like I need to take out the brain zombies, actually. I feel like that's the more important thing. Um, so... I'm quite happy now. You've killed a guy, I've put three on fire. This is getting you back from last game. That's not equal. It, it so is. That's not equal at all. Threefold all the time, Callum. It's threefold. <laughs> you kill one of mine, I kill nine of yours. That's ninefold, but that's how we do it. Quick <laughs> that's, that's how we do it, yeah. Right, I'm going to move forward and shoot that guy. Um, so I'm going to move forward to here. Um, just to double check. Yep, I can see him. So my bolt gun is going to shoot at him for that. That, that, that vicious mockery you just gave me <laughs> right there. Um, so, my, uh, you're going to be using his bolt gun. Uh, obviously, I can't aim anything like that because I've moved. So, I will be hitting on a three up. Listen to the Lars. It misses. It miss again. It misses four times. It misses four times. No ammo roll though. Yeah. But yeah, I just can't seem to hit anything as usual. So. <laughs> I thought it was the wounds you struggled on normally. Uh, well, it's both now. It's <laughs> Sorry. Not, yeah, it's just both. I can't do anything. Sorry. It, it, I, I see. I think this is because you said at the start none of my guys have gone out of action. Oh so well. You're being punish. Um. Well, I've, I've, I've only had one come injured and one die. Oh, yeah, yeah, but it's, it, that's uh, punishing. So, Marcus is going to activate, and I'm really going to get into this ruckus. He's going to double activate and move right up to the gas pile. 
and that and be done there because he's got no more activations. Right. I am going to aim and fire with your long glass. With my long glass. <laughs> uh, I'm in short range still. Yep. Okay. So I am in short range. And I get plus one to hit, so I'm hitting on threes. Yes, because you don't get the plus one for yep. being at long range. Uh, and that's all I'm going to do. Okay. Threes. One. Hit. Strength for four for a long yeah. rest. Oh. No, but Callum is pinned. Yep. And because he's behind cover, can't be targeted until he stands up. Okay, so over to Callum. Yep, yeah. so uh, I'm going to go with my leader. Yes. Who is going to aim and shoot into this brain leaf zombie. Right. So, because uh, I'm aiming, I'll be hitting on a two. See if I can actually do anything. Oh, sorry. It's with an auto gun. Does hit three times, which is better than anything else I've done so far. Almost the wind. Almost the wind. Oh, no wounds. Coward. Uh, no wounds. And what I will be doing is with her, with a movement, will actually just be to move just forward move to here <laughs> to prioritise the leader over the yep. ganger. Preserve the numbers. Preserve yep. the numbers. Over to my go. I've only got one person left, and he's going to double move to behind all of these. Crates and barrels and be done, and that is me out. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna group activate yeah. my priest and these two redemptionist brethren. Right. Okay, so the priest is gonna just double move straight away, so 10 inches, which brings him into line. There's the cherub there. And with this redemption of brethren that went out of his plant buster ammo, I'm gonna reload simple to get the shotgun back. So you get the shotgun back, so it's a four up. So he does, and then he's going to move his five inches then forward. Then this redemption is brethren is just going to double move ten inches to that there. Okay. Okay, and then over to Callum. Right. Okay. So um, I've still got this gentleman with a bolt pistol here. So he is going to try, and uh, I'm actually going to move him forward. So he's going to move two, and then another two to here, and he's then going to try and shoot this zombie. Okay. Um, so and be within one of right. the other zombie yep. in case he misses. And be within the short range, so hopefully he'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Hopefully, I mean, who does know? I certainly don't, you know, at all. So it's a ganga, this? Uh, this is a ganga with bolt pistol, yeah. Please. Yep, so three, <sighs> fingers crossed. Nope. Obviously Why? misses. Obviously misses, and that's that. On a straight shot, you'll hit the Yes. So on a one to three? Of course. Why wouldn't? Why would it? <laughs> so, <laughs> nope. Is it one of them games? It's just one of those games. Over to Phil, because I'm out. Uh, this bone picker here is going to double move. Actually, you can actually get to there. Behind the barrel. Behind the barrel. Callum, can you bend him over the barrel? Um, I have no one left to activate. Uh, no, wait, sorry. No, I do have one person left to activate. I have the guy that's in the fight with the brain leaf zombie. Because he has not gone yet. Has he not used knockback attack? No, that, that was, was last turn. That was last turn. Yeah, because yeah. the, the start of this turn, we got uh, yeah. charged by them. So, we'll go with his attack. Yeah. Uh, hitting on a four. Nope. And then you can disengage. Uh, you've got to do your reaction attack first. Yes. Yes. There you go, Max. So, <laughs> so reaction attack from the zombie misses. Double misses. Uh, yep, and I will disengage. How far was it again? You've got to take an initiative check. Yep. And the... um, I believe their initiative is, uh, I think it's five. Let me just, no, it's definitely not that. And so, do I react? No. no. Cool. Oh, dude, does the zombie, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I personifying the zombie there. Are you trying to kill my guys personally? No, no, not at all. Are you sure? Not at all. <laughs> so Phil is... Going to move his bone picker. Yeah, gonna double move. Gonna go there. Okay. 
Oh, it's, it's all my yeah, animations. Yeah, so it's just you, though, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, the priest is going to go up and give him some support. I sort of uh, incinerate that priest. Uh, and then uh, the deacon. So there. And that might be you done. That is me done. So you're... No one's been taken out of action this turn. Nope. So you don't get additional dice uh, from that. No, you blazed only my, the, yeah, only my guy did. So yes. So that's where. So roll your faith dice, Phil. So I only get 12 now. Only. Just 12. Yeah. And you cannot use, the cap is 13 in tip you. No, it goes down, so I've not got as many gangers. Oh, so it's 12. So it's 12. So he's looking for two five ups here. Oh, you get them. Yeah, well, here you go. And fills up his maximum faith allowance. Yeah. And then his uh, brain leaf go. Um, I, do you want me to roll for my out of uh, the guy that's seriously injured? Seriously injured, yes. yes. Um, so I just do that here. Seriously injured, blazed dude. And um, he's still seriously injured. Yes. So nothing changes with him. And then with the zombies. Yeah, so yeah. the front zombie makes one attack at the yeah. Do you want to roll it? Or oh, yeah. someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hits. It hits. Five. Wounds. Um, five up armor. Nope. <laughs> then you want to roll the injury. Flesh, Flesh wound. wound. So he took us three now. Yes. And then the other zombie moves towards Callum's leader and gets in. Two attack. Two attacks, nothing. And Callum's leader strikes back. Yeah. Uh, he strikes back as well, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He's yes. got flash wound. Um, so I will attack by hitting on a flash four. wounded guy, yeah. Oh, hitting on a four. Doesn't yes, boost. And then my leader attacking back, uh, hitting on, I believe, fours as well. Two, Two hits. Um, oh, she's strength got to double the weapon. Uh, strength three. Okay. So top of the three, so fours. One wound. wound. What's it do? Nothing. 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 A fat lot of nothing. Nope. So that is the end of turn three. Does the smoke disperse? No. no. Right, good. <laughs> Happy with that. Oh, priority turn four. Two. Oh, oh me and Callum roll off. Yeah. You have priority last turn, I go first. Yes, that's correct. Ooh, what do I do? What do I do? Well, there's a blunder pole that's going to shoot me if I don't do something. <laughs> Phil sort of got me because he can get this guy if I don't do him some other way. I'm going to activate. Geb is going to activate here and he's going to move his five round here and attempt to incinerate the eviscerator. And I'm actually going to attempt to stay on the edge of long range so Phil's priest can chop me up immediately after. So he's gonna move two two to here two bit round and I think that's six inches. Yeah. I'm gonna move an inch more because Ooh, I'm trying to stay out of the direct blast of the blunder bastard. So I'm going to fire there. Is it short range? It is. It is. So I hit on a two because I've got weapons. Ballistic skill three. Short range is plus one. It hits. It's strength eight. Wounds. Yeah. Yeah. You get, you get, you yeah. Get vaporized. Short, yeah. Short, short range. range. Melted. Vaporized. Um, and that's over two. At this point, Phil's go. Does he break? He might do. He might do. Does Phil's priest break? Yeah. He does. <laughs> he does. So he would run directly into so cover. Six. Just goes to there and stops for that. Yeah, and he's broke. Bastard, Max. You're a bastard. Hey, you were trying to blunder bastard me. You were sneaking up all sneaky like. Do you want to do your um, out of action result as well? Yes. yes. Yeah, just because we... So the other one is turn. Black is, again, 52. That is just going to be getting him. An eye injury, minus one to ballistic skill. 
Wow, that could have been a lot worse. I don't care about that. Oh no, oh, my God, it's only got a close combat with yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He prod himself with it. <laughs> so over to Phil's go. Oh, my fifties are too big for my wallet, and my dang shoes are too tight. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna guess you activate the blunder bastard. Or are you not? Are you saving that? So I don't think that you will throw that demo charging because it will hit your own guys at the moment because the blast is too big. Is that what you think? You'll have to move them out, so I think I've got to turn. But what I can do is go and get some XP with one of my blunder bastards. Okay. And sorry, Callum. <laughs> no, sorry. I'm gonna charge him there. <gasps> that is not what I thought he was gonna do. Two to grab him. <sighs> right. And yeah. Get the XP for it. Cool. That is not what I thought he was gonna do. Right. I so, thought he was gonna pick up the gas. So I'll do the out of action result. Yes. So it's tens. 36. Oh, just fine. Just start into recovery. Yeah. Into recovery. Yeah. So over to Callum. Right, okay. Um, I am gonna... I'm gonna activate this gentleman with the bolt pistol. Okay. And he is actually just gonna go forward. He's gonna pick up that ghast and then he's gonna move to here. To here, okay. actually. Try and get revenge next turn. Yep, yeah. so I picked up that ghast and that is the end of my activation. Now, Phil said he didn't think I was going to throw this demo charge. And he'd be incredibly, incredibly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, my wrecker to here, and he's going to throw his template. No, I, I want you to die to as well. This point. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care about him, he's got two gas, he's done. <laughs> so, he hits on a four, and if I roll a one, he centers it on his feet. No, he hits. And we'll get both Phil's bone picker, brethren, brethren, and Callum's Jew that is full up of gas. And on fire. And on fire. And yeah. on fire. So he's less egregious to, yeah. to Callum. <laughs> so on Callum's, it doesn't wound because he's tough as four. And on Phil's, on a two, it wounds oh. at damage three. Yeah. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> Dead, dead, dead. So, uh, and that's over to Phil's activation. The oh yeah, what's he do? Tens. He's the yellow. And he's the yellow again. <laughs> Into recovery. So Phil's go. Bastard. <laughs> you complete blunder bastard. Right, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move a cord, this cordal brethren up. Yeah. Five inches. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's his short range? Eight inches. No, we're not. We're going to move him back a couple. Just so you can aim and fire straight away. <laughs> what? Well, just, just like, <laughs> now you're all melted. <laughs> now Eight you're inches. Melted. We're going to then uh, shoot him short range with a solid shot. It's on threes. Hits. Uh, and it goes over your strength, so you're not back as well. Yes, an inch. Yep. So that's toughness three, strength four. So threes. Wounds me, two damage. So you, I've got two wounds, so it goes down to one damage. And then I've got true grit, so it's two dice I pick. Oh, I'm gonna pick the serious injury, funnily enough. God, this is so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> and over to Callum. Right. So I'm going to activate my uh, champion with bolt gun. He's going to stand up, and no surprise to anybody, he's going to shoot back at your long lass. Yes, take a cool check because yep. he's not the closest target. Not going to cover, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, so I'm on a six, which he's I pass. Fine. Yeah. That's yep. why I moved him there. <laughs> yep. So um, hitting on a three. Yes. Which does hit for three hits and an ammo check. I will roll the ammo check now. Right. So it is on a six up. I pass it, Ooh. which is great because you know I got bullet cutters, so I got a re-roll, and I've still not been we able to use that, it yeah. yet. Um, so it is strength four, toughness three, yeah. so wounded on threes for three wounds. So oh, two, six, four, six, six, or six, six injury dice. Six yeah. Injury dice. Right, I've got four, so I'll roll these and then two again. 
Three uh, flash wounds is out. Three flash wounds is out. Boom. Let's Boom. see what happens to him. <laughs> Bill's getting happier and happier as he rolls <laughs> as he rolls these injuries. Again, yellows, tens, blacks. So yeah. What have we got? 52, <laughs> minus one ballistic skill. For your long glass, <laughs> Bill. long glass guy. Uh, where is he? Are you just happy when there's no one dead? <laughs> yeah. Uh, my juve that moved over here last turn is going to pick up a gas and then move to within one inch. He's going to stay in the, the smoke, in fact, and move to within an inch of my seriously injured fighter. Phil's turn. I'm going to charge with my juve yep. into your guy. Uh, I've got six inch movement, by the way, so I don't, I'm in. Yeah, you're in. What, so what have you actually got, Phil? I've got a fighting knife, a stub gun, uh, the desire to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fighting knife and a stub gun. He's got a dream. Two attacks with a fighting knife. He's hitting on fives. No. <laughs> no, that is very resigned. Uh, he's then got one attack with his uh, stub. Stub, fives. Hits. Oh, hits! Whoa. Good news for Bill! Hey! Uh, wounding on fours. What, what, what? Three? Dum dum. Dum dum? Yeah, fours, yeah. No. no. Right. And then over to Callum's yep. strikes. So, back. Um, attacks back. Um, so, I'm going to use one of my attacks as a uh, stub gum. Yeah. Because I've got one. So, this will be the normal attack hitting on a four. Doesn't hit. Then the stub gun hit. Uh, we did how many hits is it? Oh yes. Roll your five yeah. dice. What? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, so it does have dum dum so wounding on threes. threes at least. It does wound. Do you have any armor? <laughs> no. no, why why would you have any armor? Question. Uh it's serious injury. Much ado about nothing over here. I will just do the consequential stuff, I think. So I'm gonna activate this guy. He's yeah. gonna stand up. And then he's gonna absolutely run. I'm moving half of this. Oh, whoa, 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 he's on fire. Yeah, yeah, so I'm rolling that. Ah, right, run. sorry, I thought you meant like you're gonna double move. No, 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 no. Sorry, no, no, sorry, no. sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, and he's in a random direction. Yes, it is. Can I have a scatter die? Yes, you probably can. There you go. Is this half? Because I'm still up. No, no. No, it's no. just the full thing. <laughs> so nine into the fire. Yep, so nine. And you, you collide with Phil's fighter. Yeah, so oh, do you not set on fire if you collide with people? Nope, so I'm gonna have to stay here, aren't I, though? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's him. So do you want to go to ground? Yes, and I will. And gain plus two to going out? Yes, yes. I will. Uh, strength three, hit first. Ah, yes. Right. Okay, strength three, hit, so uh, wounded on a five. Yeah. Five, yep. Doesn't no. wound. And yep. then see if you go out. Yep. You do? Yes, I do. Right, cool. It's right. over six with the plus two from mm -hmm. going pro. Yep. Right, your go. My go. Aegis is going to pick up an, another gas. And... He's going to pick up another gas. And and stay within the smoke. Like, this is just... Like, he needs to do it. He's not going to do anything with his second action, really. Okay, so, my turn. I'm gonna use my this redemptionist priest here with his shotgun. Yes. He's gonna come to five inches to there. He's gonna shoot. Yeah, at my downed fighter. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you're at short range, so you don't get the minus one to hit from someone being prone. Yeah, and I get my plus one to hit yeah, as well. So threes. Hits. Hits. Strength four. So threes again. And you do two damage, but it goes down to one because I've got true grit. As in one dice rolled. Dead. Boom. Ooh. He doesn't like it. So yellow will again be the tens. Into oh. recovery. Into recovery. So my juve that was waiting in the wings to attempt to assist Gep on getting <laughs> back up. He's cool. He's not cool and he becomes broken. And Aegis. Oh, he's super cool. Super, 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 super cool. cool. So my Jew flees 2d6. Oh, 11. And goes 3, 9. 
and I can't go further towards your guy because I'd be in line of sight. So I sort of stop halfway here, round the corner, and he's over two Callum's activation. Right, so I'm going to try to shoot into combat with this Gangner. So I'm going to aim, yes. so and use it in shot. Yeah. So hopefully I'll be hitting, because I will be hitting on a two. So we'll okay. hope. And that's into the closer that's one? That's into the closer okay. one, yes. So on a two, does hit, only for one though. Um, strength three times three, so hit. We've got a four, does wound. We'll see what he does. See what actually happens. Serious injury. So he's seriously injured now. Yep. Which is okay. So we will take that right there. That's the end of my activation. Because you aimed. Yes, right. yep. Okay, so Marcus is going to attempt to pay Phil back for hurting Gap. He's going to move five to here and get into this shotgun duel with Phil's ganger there. So he hits on a four because it's not short range. And this is fairly stupid for me to do. I probably should have picked up another, another gas. He misses and goes out of ammo. Does he go out of ammo? No. He retains his shells in his shotgun. Okay, Phil's activation. So I'm going to activate my juve here. Of course. I'm then going to do a article of faith. Uh, and death could not stay his righteous wrath. And death could not stay his righteous wrath. So it's on a seven plus. Yes. If he's taken out of action, it's within six inches of an enemy fighter. They take a strength five, eight, minus one AP, damage two hit. Just right. matter dobs himself. So let's make sure that this goes off straight away. So we're yeah. going to throw, well, might as well throw five dice here. Right, okay. It does. Funny that. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like he's got an abundance of uh, faith yeah. die, you'd think, yeah. And what we'll do is we'll do a double move and he will go there <laughs> an inch away from him. Okay, okay. Have you got any more activations? Yeah, I've got two more activations. Uh, I've got do. one. So right, Callum, cool. You do your... So I'm going to activate this uh, ganger here. He's next to yeah. this down on me and he's going to pop that thing's head. Yes. So that is Gonzo. And then he is going to just turn and shoot at my leader um, in oh, combat. Oh, shoot at your leader, is he? So you're, you're at the leader's combat, so right. we'll shoot the plant leaf zombie. Um, is uh, Kuda Guy's free, right? No, no, is no it, is an action. He's an, an action, right. So uh, I can't aim or anything like that then, so I will just shoot at him. So, going to try and pop him. Uh, we'll be hitting on a three due to the plus one due to range. So three... Of course, it didn't hit. So randomized. Randomized. Um, <laughs> so uh, on my leader. Yeah, so one to three on all, or four times. Yeah. Two actually go through. Um, it's straight three, toughness four, so fives. fives. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Nope. Right, it was worth trying. Nothing. Yeah. Over to me. What I'm going to do is activate my juve and double move just still into the smoke in the gas pile here to give myself some options for next turn. Yep. And it's over to Phil's go, because I am out. Are you out there? I actually have two activations left. Ooh. Yeah, you've got this Because I've, yeah, I've not moved him, and I've not done my leader, yeah, yeah. so. So I am going to activate my Juve. Yes. And my Juve is going to do another article of faith. So I'm going to do, uh, if he gets taken out of action, Strength five here. Strength five here within six inches. Within six is so bad. So he's got it off there because he needs a seven, so he's fine. We're going to then double move then uh, 12 inches and put him an inch away. <laughs> an inch away and put him there. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's quite guess, the play. It's quite the play, so. you know. And that's only till the end of the turn. Uh, no, until you next activate. Until I next activate them, because while the article of faith is in action. Right. Right, um, I'm going to activate my juve in the middle, just to try and get him out of there, potentially. Um, so, let's see where he runs to. He is going... To this crate here. He's probably... Is he going to not go in that little yeah. gap? Yeah, he's just going to fit himself right in there. And does he um, go to ground? And he will go to ground. Uh, I can't actually lie him down, but yeah, he will. A hit first. So strength three yeah. hit. So it uh, would be wound on a five. Doesn't wound. And then, do you uh, go out? Yeah. Yes. Carl, I'm very happy about that, I imagine. Uh, I mean, he's still not exactly in the best spot, but <laughs> it's better than nothing. So. Better than having exploding juice around him. Yeah. And over to Phil's final activation. 
<laughs> oh no. Um, so, so what, what we're going to do is we're going to activate the priest. The priest is then just going to come here. Yeah. Callum, your final. Yes, okay, so I'm going to go with my leader. They're in that combat, so. Um, we'll uh, try and disengage first. Okay. So it's on a five up. Yep, so just pass. Does okay. Does the zombie make a strike back? No. No. Okay. Callum moves half. Yep. And then gets to fire. I do. And I am going to shoot you up on the pole. Oh, oh, uh, Because I am in, he's getting, he's getting no, nothing there. Okay. So, let's hope you don't miss. So, uh, it's not going to be with the plant buster I roll. It's going to be, right, okay. it's just, just the normal auto gun. Um, so, we'll be hitting on a three. Does hit twice. Into this wonder pole here. Yeah, into the wonder pole. Gets pinned. Um, so, I'm winning on fours for two wounds. No armor, Phil? No. no. Flesh wounds, wounds serious. Wounds. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Yep. All right, and that's that. So, I'm done. Phil, you're remaining. Have you got any? No, 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 that's it. You're done. That's it. So none of us can actually bottle yet, despite the, what well, I'm going to say, carnage. Yeah. It's yeah. currently happening. Anyone got any serious injuries? Yes. Yes. I've got two. Yep. Okay. So, uh, first bone picker over here. Yep. Flesh wound. Flesh wound. wound. Yeah, Are boy. You, is he in combat currently? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, so he stands up. And then... This one. Stay seriously he's injured. Dead. He's dead. He's <laughs> <laughs> um, just whether me or Callum get Then the it's Broken Fighters. Yes. So, so. Uh, who have you got? Your, your leader, yeah. Yeah, so he's got a cool of six. Adult bikes. We're gonna use adult bikes, not little. Oh, he remains broken. He remains broken. So I'm gonna to roll to recover my juve round here. Eight. I do. He's got an, a cool of eight. Wow, there you go. So he recovers and actually gains an experience for that. Excellent. Excellent, that. And uh, then it's... Brain leave turn? Yes. Yeah. So you roll it, Callum. We're killing you guys is, all day. Is it, is it worth rolling it? <laughs> he's, he's obviously in. He will actually be going into the flesh wound guy as well. Yep. So he's in. He's in. Uh, two attacks, hit on fives. You know the drill. One oh, hit. Oh, we do know this drill. <laughs> yep. Strength three, toughness four, so five. Does oh, wound. Is your guy flesh wound? Yes, he is. So it, it is. does hit, it does wound. Uh, five up, five a save. No. no. And then injury die. Do you want to kill your own guy? Yeah, I do. F okay, another flesh wound. That's not too bad. That's, that's, that's pretty good, actually. That could have gone a lot back. worse. Yes, I do. So, uh, this is just my ganger. So it's just what? Hitting on a four. Oh, hits. Has he got a stub gun? Uh, yes, he does, but I'm not using it. Right. Because I've already rolled it, so it's only fair. Uh, so, strength three, toughness three, so winning on a four. Does wound. And what does it do? Is this the turn? I mean... <laughs> no. no, of course it isn't. Sadly, it wasn't a plant buster fist. Yes. So, uh, I don't... Yeah, so that's that, I'm afraid. And that is... Um, I'm turn. just going to do my faith dice. Yes. So, I have got, uh, got one person who is seriously injured and they don't generate. So, I've got eight. Uh, and you took out one of my fighters. So you gain another one. It's not, it's enemy fighters that go out of action. So I got one, I got another one for Callum's as well that went out. Did, did you take out a brain leaf zombie? Yes, I did. Right, so a lot of dice. I'm rerolling one for Trump the chair. Only two up to now. Two, so he's Three. got six total dice now for his casting shenanigans. Yep. And does the smoke Disappear. It's gonna have to. Yeah, yes. yes, it does. And we're getting to priority for what could be a very, very bloody turn. It's really priority. Okay. Oh, uh, not you. It might be you. Yes. Oh, Callum first. Right. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna activate 
this gentleman. And he is going to stand up. Is he, is he going to move away and help with the, plan, the brand new zombie? I'm going to shoot you in the face with a bolt gun. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's on. Yeah, it's I'm going gonna, gonna to shoot you in the face with a bolt gun. Um, so, he's on two, six, short range. Does hit for three. <laughs> Toughness. Toughness three. So, four. So, threes. For threes. two. Um, armor? No armor. <laughs> no armor. The no gentleman's armor. choice, no, no armor. armor. So, four injury dice. Two I am going to play Death Blow. Please contact him resolving damage to enemy fighter as a result of an attack made by a friendly model after rolling injury dice. If you're all too seriously injured, it's now action. Uh, so he's dead. And I will roll his injury for Orina now. Ooh, that was not what I was expecting, actually. I was expecting the stamp. So, so yellow will be tens. He's oh. recovered. So do you want to know the reason I actually did that? Because last time you mentioned, oh, who's going to stamp that guy first, me or you? And I thought, well, I better make it me, hadn't I? You could have stood up and stamped. I could have, but now I've got potentially two XP rather than one. We'll see. So we'll see. You could stamp him. There's a potential for it. So it's my turn. Yeah. And I'm in that call for a paddling straight away. That's your favourite model, that's the demo charge. That calls for a paddling. It's not quite my favourite model, but... Vengeance! Vengeance is... Threefold. Threefold. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to activate with Aegis, who's going to group activate Marcus as well. Yep. So... I'm going to wreck the, 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 the scenery. Marcus is going to move onto the gas pile and then shoot as close as I can to your yep. dude. So he moves his five onto the gas pile here. And then he's going to fire down yep. at your champion. So the cool check, or I have to fire at the juve, that's still the dice that I was going to roll for, <laughs> for everything else. So the cool check, no, I fire right. at the juve. Shoot at the juve. So the juve, it doesn't hit. And next, Aegis. Now the, the smart move now is probably to carry on doing that. Vengeance. Vengeance, Vengeance. it is. Vengeance it is. <laughs> he charges and gets a four, so gets in. I'm going to stay an inch away because I enjoy my versatile weapon. Yep. He's got three attacks on the car charge, Callum. Yep. He's going to hit you on threes. Yep. Do I reroll that with Mastercrafted? No, I don't. I'm just going to squash it. It's only a juve, yeah. Yeah. But it's vengeance. It's vengeance time, so he's It wasn't all even the, in the shine. All, all the stops, even if it doesn't happen. So then I wound on threes, because I'm strength six. Yep, two. two wounds. What's your armor? Five. Six now. Six, okay. Nope. No. And I do six damage to you. So six damage. He flash wounded five times. Is that right. enough? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Right, so okay. Not in range to cause Callum's champion to break. But not very Callum, nice. do you want to roll your Yes, I will wait out of action. This one. Tens dice first. Maybe if I go I'm glad that rolled out. <laughs> uh, ooh. 43. Yeah. Into recovery. Into recovery. Yeah. Okay, so my turn. Yeah. I'm going to do an art of faith with this guy. Did he say he's the injured guy? Yeah. Okay. I am going to uh, do the one where if he gets taken out of action, you get a strength five. Oh! <laughs> he's all uh, yours. I am going to do... It goes off. Yeah, and then that's it done. That's it done. And he can actually, as well, uh, do a double action to crawl away. Okay. Uh, which he will do, so double action to crawl away is half his movement, which is two and a half. Which is roughly there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we'll get in here. <laughs> I'm going to activate my leader, Yeah. who um, is going to aim. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to aim and shoot at your juve. Is it Ganga? Juve? Ganga? Ganga? Ganga, just up here. Yeah. So, um, I will be wounding on a, uh, sorry, hitting on a two, because uh, I don't believe, yeah, there's, there's nothing in the way whatsoever. <laughs> Normal auto gun. Okay. So, I'm hitting on a two, which doesn't hit. Yes. Um, do I stray shot? Is he within an inch? Uh, 
Well, you might straight shot here as well. So yes, we'll put, this as well. well. We'll measure it and then come back. Three, so. So three shots onto. Doesn't, doesn't hit, does, does hit. Doesn't, doesn't hit. So those two now, do they come yeah. on to mine? Yeah. The next onto Phil's so, serious injury. No. No. And no. Ah, oh, boom. And then onto <laughs> this guy. Yeah, onto my dude. Yes. yes. And yes. Oh, right, that's boo. good. Right, so um, I'll do the one on my guy first. I'll do the one on your guy. Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah fair enough. No. Doesn't no. wound. Right, so the two on your uh, the ganger. Uh, we're going to go forward. It's just not yeah. a gun for nothing. Okay, and I think we're pinned by this actually, think, thinking about it because it, we're hit by yeah. a range attack. Yeah. So, which scuppers my plan. I'm going to activate with my Jew here, he's going to stand up and he's going to fire oh. at Callum's champion here. <sighs> Rude. So, he's not in short range, he hits on a four because he's got a, a ballistic skill increase. Yep. So, I think you're in light cover there. Right. Yeah, so yeah, fives. Yeah, I'm fives. No. And there's no stray shots. I'm now looking for him. Does yeah. he go out of ammo? No, he doesn't. No, right, well, fair enough, yeah. And he's over to Phil. These are, that article of faith is so <laughs> it's, it's, it's horrific, isn't it? Yeah. Because now, even though these people are in there, until I activate them, they still have the article of faith on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I could just like, leave them there and I was like, yeah. So he's activated, he's activated. I've only got this one. You've only got that one left. Right, okay. So what we'll do is he's gonna move to there. Yep. Actually he's gonna move to there. And he's gonna shoot. Yep. This dude here. So he's gonna shoot Marcus. He's gonna be within short range. Short range. Are you firing solid slots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So hitting on threes. Hits, strength four, toughness three. Strength four, toughness three. No. no. And I go down. Down in cover at long range, yes. <laughs> so, over to Callum's activation. Okay, so I'm gonna go, right, I'm, tr I'm trusting you here with this, right? I'm gonna be honest, right? I'm gonna, trust Phil. I'm gonna activate bot pistol Gengar. He's gonna stand up, I'm gonna shoot. The ganger on the floor. Is he in Good. cover? Because if he's in cover and he's prone, if you're not within eight inches, you're not. Um, can't anyway, if you, all right, you can't. Well, all right. Oh, right. I think he might be in cover. You might want to check it. So that's Would why you, I, you, we've got the laser light. Are we counting the tiny you know, little bit? Of, yeah, you would, it, so, we will count yeah, that. Right, okay, no, I won't then. Sorry, I thought. I, just, like, I counted this as cover for you. Right, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Right, so I won't do that then. And what I will. Do. Are you still activating the same guy? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll still activate the same guy, I'll at least, I'll at least do that. Because uh, you want to get up with him. It's nice, he's smart. If you, were you going to kill him so you could... I was going to try and blow him up so you could kill him, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so instead, he's, he's just going to move to here then. Okay. And that's, Shoot that's someone! Uh, I can't. You, you're the only target, he's only got a bolt pistol. <laughs> right, okay, okay, okay. Oh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> my newly rallied juve here is going to move five, six round the corner to get to here. And I'm gonna blast into Whoa. your brethren that's in heavy cover, so plus two, minus two. So plus two, minus two, because you're in heavy cover. Hits on fives. And that's about all I could do with him. So, he hits. <sighs> Ooh. He hits how many times? Only twice. It's strength three, toughness three. Nothing, but you are pinned, Phil. And that's over to Phil's go. There's just so many guys. There's just so many guys. Uh, I'm activating this guy now because I put it there, even though I don't think I can actually get into anything. So he'll just move five. Uh, if I'm within range, I'm gonna shoot him there. But what are you firing with? Shotgun. Right. Solid shot, shotgun. So you're in range, but it'll be heavy cover. Yeah. If you miss, are you hitting this guy? No, that's not. Okay, so hitting on sixes on ages. <laughs> That's the wrong guy. Every shot you don't take is a miss. Oh, 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 oh. does he go out? Yeah. Yes. Over to Callum. Right, I'm gonna activate this guy. Um, yep, yeah, your champion. Yep, yeah, and I will try, no, I will actually just fight you. Okay. I, I, I would try and disengage, but I'm not sure there's much point. I think I'd rather just try and fight you. So one of them will be the stub gun, which will be this one, yeah. and this will be the melee. So this will be the stub gun, this will be the melee. So stub gun on a four, 
does hit one Once shot. And the melee. It also hits. Then fours. Yep. To room. No. I'm toughness two now. Oh, you That's are. Right. Pleasure to you. Three. Right, so threes. Both wound. Yeah. No armor. No. Dead. Oh. Stomped. Yeah, oh, the the go. What happens to him? <laughs> Again, yellow tens. Oh, out cold. Out cold. And over to Phil's go. Oh, what are we going to do now? You've just got so many options. I'm going to aim and fire at this one here. Yeah, that is tiny. So, uh, with this Ganga here, by the yes. way. So he's activated, he's no longer the bomb. No longer a bomb. Yes. So I'm hitting on fours. I am. Misses. Misses. And over to Callum. Yep. So um, I'm going to activate. Um, I'm actually going to activate this gentleman here, and he is going to aim and shoot into this combat. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. So on a three. Uh, you can pass my ammo. Oh. I do miss. Obviously, why would I? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, onto my guy. So, first one hits, second one doesn't, third one hits, second one also hits. So, sent three, toughness two. two. So, I am moving on. So, that's threes, two yeah. wounds, two armor saves. Two armor saves. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to kill him here. Um, what if I roll? Flash wounds. He dies when he gets up, though. <laughs> so, yeah. So he is... The uh, brain leaf will stomp him in his... In his yeah. Yes, it will, yep. Yeah. And right. over to Phil. Right, I'm going to activate this dude here. I'm going to do an article of faith. I'm going to turn him into a living bomb. Uh, he doesn't do it, but I have no negative effect from this one at all. So I'm going to move five inches here. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to then take a shot at this guy here. Yep. Yeah. So that is Cronus, my leveled up Jew. So uh, I'm using Dum Dum Ammo, I'm moving five, so I'm hitting on fours. Yes. That was rubbish. Hits and wounds on threes. If Phil can ever roll in the train. Wounds, what does it do to him? Dead. Boom. He's taken out. Let's Yellow, the tens. 56. Oh, what is that, Phil? Into recovery, minus one toughness. Oh, I've got that. I've got that twice now. That's the painful one. That's the painful one. Yeah. Okay, have you got any more activation? You don't, because he was the last activation. Yes. Okay, so. so I have two more activations now. Yep. I have my priest. Yeah. I will try and rally my... Uh, my Your deacon. My, my priest priest, because yeah. I've got two. So 2d6 in a random direction. He's going eight inches. Straight, directly away. He's not, he's not randomized, he's directly the furthest from an enemy model you can be. Stay, while staying in cover. Yeah. So you'd go there then, wouldn't you? Well, you're going closer there. Oh, uh, so we'd go this way then? Yeah, there you go. So the cherub, we should have been done at the same time as the leader. But just go there then. Okay, okay. then that's it. Uh, the priest, I'm quite fond of him. He doesn't want to squash him. I don't want to squash him. So that's my, that's all my activations done. Okay, so I can now break, in fact. Okay. Yeah. So, let, yeah, let's do that. How many gas have you got, by the way? So, I've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Oof, I've got three. <laughs> I've been I've been playing this completely that was a, wrong. The, the smoke grenade was the, that was the impact. Like, you throw the smoke grenade on the gas, pick up some gas, and then hope it doesn't. Been doing through. this completely wrong. Yeah. So do I bottle? I four minus two is two plus my three. I don't bottle. Can anyone else bottle? Well, I no, I can't one. bottle yet. Because my arms master is on the table. Four. Oh, is that always the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just six as an arms master. Yeah. He's got no better stats like any other specialist. But. Do you have to get over the amount you started? Yeah. 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 I, I just can't bowl at the moment. Right. So, recover serious injuries. Whoa. Do I want to voluntarily bowl? Do you want to voluntarily bottle? With I think. three, I probably wouldn't. How many have you got? Three. 
It's a weird to say, but I've, I've, I've only yeah. had like, one guy in yeah, the middle. Yeah, but that's going to go around doing some dirty damage. I play so tell him, do you want to try and recover your fighter? Technically, no, because if he gets up, he dies. Well, you can roll two because you're within an inch yes. of a friend. That's not the right die. No, roll two. I you want the series in? Yes, that's what I want, so he will stay down. Okay, fill your... So I've got eight faith dice. Uh, I've got seven, because the people that are, are, are on there. Yeah. Uh, and and two of mine died this oh, time. Oh, so I've got... I haven't, I've got nine then. Okay. So let's see what happens. Ooh, three, three wow. and then we get to re-roll one from the cherub, which didn't happen this time. But we've got three. Bringing you to total of three. Of three. Right, we three do have to do the zombie as well. Yes, the brain leaf. Um, so do, you want, do we want to roll the scatter knight to decide which way he goes? He moves towards the closest. They're quite equal. They're both two and a half. Oh, basically. are they? Yeah. So just to measure. So just do a one, two, three. One, two, yeah. three. Because that's... that's Two point three, right, and that's so one to three goes to your leader. No, no, nope, right. So then he just kills him. Yes, and then yep. it's done. And then he will turn into another one. Oh, he will. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see why you didn't want that. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> I might just have to leave them. I, I might just have to be like, nope. All right, you can just stay alive. Mm. I just don't think I can kill them. So. On to the priority phase, in which I get a two. I get four. And Phil gets a two, so Callum goes first. Okay. What so does Callum do? I'm gonna activate my champion. Callum's champion? Yep, so obviously due to the fact that he's out of ammo, and there is a guy with a massive fist right next to him. Yes. He is actually just gonna run backwards, just to here, hope he's giving a little bit of cover, and it will try and do an ammo check. Yes. It's on a six, but yes. could be worse. Okay. He does. So he is, does have ammo again, and that's my he activation. Um, we've said for that, the person he took out last time won't get the injury result. Yep. I'm gonna look back, because we can't remember if Phil's guy was taken out. If that is the case, Phil's guy won't get the out of action result. But now it's all okay, yep. because you've now reloaded as well. Yeah. So we can not have to remember that he's out of ammo for another turn. Yeah. <laughs> so in my turn, Aegis is going to activate, surprisingly. And he's gonna run back this way and try and squash the Juve over here. Right, so Aegis is going to attempt to charge this juve here to get me out of the way, sort of, of Callum's fire. He does. He stops an inch away and gets three attacks. So he hits three times, wounds three times, and does nine yeah. injuries. Roll him. <laughs> Roll him, he's loving it. Yeah, he's yeah. dead. And that's always Phil's go. Uh, again, oh, no. Yeah. Nothing. How cold? How cold? Give me more damage, more damage. So, yeah, Phil, what do you do? So, because I want to take vengeance, because we all do. Yeah, <laughs> vengeance. But the thing vengeance. is, he's already gone. So he's yeah. not a threat now. Until next turn. Until next turn. He's going to get up. Okay. He's going to fire the blunder pole. Ooh. Okay. So he gets Aegis, who is in heavy cover there, so he'll get plus two to his armor save. And then my pin fighter, not in cover, from the So the third down fighter is one. Strength two, wounds. Roll your injury dice, Phil. Serious injury. So it takes an activation of mine out, really. It just rolls over on the pile. Then Aegis, three. Five to wound. No. no. And he needs a nerve check to stay stood up. Oh! He gets pinned. No! <laughs> Bill, how happy are you about that one? That's pretty sweet. <laughs> So over to Callum. Right, okay, so I am gonna just just cry about these zombies, I think. Uh, no, I'm gonna move forward with this gentleman 
I think he's gonna move four just to here, and I'm just basically gonna point blank you with that bolt pistol. Okay. And so he's just gonna take a shot. It is within shot. Um, so we'll be hitting on a three. You used to hit with the bolt pistol rapid fire. Oop. Oop. Does hit. I do have to take an ammo check, but I roll the damage first. Yeah. Um, so it is uh, strength four, toughness three. Yep. So yes, threes. Yeah, yeah. Does wound. See what the damage does. Seriously, injury. injury. Um, and then the ammo check. Nope. I re rolled you to bullet cutting. Yes. So he does actually not go out of ammo. Ooh. And that's that's my. Aim for itself, that. It really cutting. is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So over to my go, I'm going to activate with Tiny. And I've got two choices here. It's either blast the shotgun ganger or go and stamp on the head of the other one. One of them gets you an XP, one of them gets you an XP and not being shot at. He's not going to kill. The, the, that ganger's not actually got anything wrong with him, he's just pinned. Yeah. He's not got any flesh wounds or anything. I'm actually going to do this one. So I'm going to activate okay. Tiny. I'm going to move my six to here and stamp on Phil's bone picker. And that's just to get me some more cover from Phil's secondary shotgun. Both? Yeah, uh, yeah, from both. Yeah, yeah. From both, don't worry. So do you want to roll his injury? Yeah, uh, again, yellow tens, 46, he's fine. 46, oh no, humiliated. Oh. Man, there's one leadership in cool. Oh dear, I couldn't care about that. Oh. Um, so minus one leadership in cool. Not the worst result. That is over to Phil's go. Over to Phil's go. He's gonna aim and fire at him. Yep, so stun up shotgun guy into Aegis. Hits on a three. No, no aim two. Aim, yeah. Hitting twos. Yeah. Hits with one. And the ammo check, I'll do the ammo check on the Yeah. So uh wounds on a three. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Wounds. So armor save, four up. Armor uh, save, four up. He's fine. So he's fine. And then over to Callum. Oh, you knocked back, bro. And I'm not back an inch. And then I'm going to activate my leader, who is actually going to. who's going to move four inches just up to here, and then I will actually take a shot at your blunder pole. Okay. So minus one for light cover. Yeah, just use that bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's just normal auto gun. So I hit it on a four. Okay. Does hit for five. You're wounding on twos. Yep. Oh, is he toughest one? Is he toughest one now? I still managed to roll two twos. Um, no, no armor. I'm gonna no, guess. two ones that, yeah. Yep. And what so do three do? wounds. Yeah, dead. dead. Funnily enough. That's my activation. So my activation. Well, oh, see what he does. Out cold. <laughs> and Phil happily carries on playing the game. <laughs> my ganger here, Marcus, is going to crawl two inches to get slightly closer to Aegis. <laughs> and he's over to Phil, who stands up and shoots. Did one of them got that out of ammo last time? I don't think I don't just misremembering them. Oh, he, right. he did have to take an ammo bomb though. Right. But that's that's true. So, so I'm gonna do that now. So the ammo roll goes, goes out. shotgun goes out. The stood up shotgun fires in two. Ages? Yeah. So he's hitting on threes. Yes. Misses. <laughs> so um, over to Callum's go. Right, okay, uh, I'm going to activate my champion, my bomb gun champion. Yes. Who is going to move four inches this way, just to here. I'm going to take a shot at this back brain leaf zombie. Okay. So, uh, let me just check actually if that's within an inch. No, it won't be. Just, right, okay. So, uh, cool check, because obviously there is another zombie there. So, uh, I think that just fails. Wow, yep, so it does fail, so it does go on the front one. So, we'll be hitting on a th um, two, because it's within short yes. range and it is a champion. So, for four hits. <laughs> four. 
Are yeah. you allocating them out all into the same yeah, one? Oh, one? can I can I split yeah, them? Yeah, right, okay, one. yeah. So I'll put. Uh, can I just choose now? Yeah. Oh yeah. You have yeah. To yeah. Now. So, yeah. So two into the back, two into the front. Right. So the two into the front one first, uh, wounding on threes. Both do wound, and then I'll yeah. do the back one as well. Just check. Uh, neither wound. Cool. Okay. Uh, so on the front one. So he's, ser uh, yep. he's seriously, so he's seriously injured. Seriously injured, which is fine. That's what I wanted. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Okay, and then that's that's the end of my activation. I'm out of activations now. I'm not. <laughs> you are not. I am not. Cordor has more activations than you. The priest double move. It's the priest here. And then my other. My, so my preacher is double moved. My priest now will uh, just run. Yeah. Two inch and your cherub. Has it only got five inch move? It's got a ten inch move. Oh, but you only want to move it to there. Yeah, but that yeah. is nearly ten inches. Right, cool. Uh, and then let's see if the cherub goes broken. Yes. Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't. It loves it. Five. Oh, it's right. in so in my last right. activation, I break it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to activate my Ganga, yeah. um, who's going to move his full movement and then stomp that zombie. Right. Oh, I... And that's movement. that's the end of activation. So that's the end. All of you is. Uh, I have activated yeah. everybody now. No, I have activated. And everybody. Phil, how many have you got left? Right, none. None. I am out. So it's see who bottles. If we do, uh, I. Trying bottle. I don't yet. Six. Two plus my three makes five, and I'm not bottled. I can't bottle. even actually uh, see. Serious six. injury makes yeah, me six. six. Yep, yeah, I still can't bottle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't. Right, so Phil TV bottles. No. No, he no. doesn't. Very right, cool. Siri, anyone seriously injured? No, so. I don't have any. I've got one, but his friend is lying down. He flesh wound and rolls over. So Marcus takes a flesh wound and goes to being pinned. Now, my priest to see if he rallies. Yes. Yes! Finally fulfilled. He gets an XP for rallying. <laughs> <laughs> and over to Callum versus the Brainleaf Zombie. Yeah, so this Brainleaf Zombie will run into this guy. He's not quite rolling for it. Do you want to roll to attack him? Do you want to... Yeah, sorry, two on fives. One. It's with one. As per. Doesn't, doesn't wound. wound. Right. Okay, uh, my attack's back. One. Yeah. Hit on a four. Doesn't Is he wound. The champion? Nope. It's oh, just right. a ganger. Okay. Yeah, so. And that's over into this. Oh, your faith. Did he go out of action this turn? Any, any? Uh, yes. Dudes? One of yours? Yeah, one of my guys went out of action. Six. That's six. And reroll one for the chair. <laughs> four. And then reroll one for the chair. No, I got four. Plus my three for, uh, plus my four for, was it three from last turn? Three left from last six. I didn't use them. And there we go. So in this position, I'm actually going to bottle because I've taken half my gang, which is the requisite for leaving in this scenario. All I can really do in the next turn is get shafted by Phil and pick up one gas. And I don't really want to get shafted, so I'm going. Okay, so that was the game. It was really bloody at the start, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it really was. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a real bloodbath that I was obviously intended in the scenario. I bottled first, and I think I bottled it the right place. I was about to get both of your gangs. Yeah, it converging on you. Yeah. What was left of Sh us. Shotgun yeah. justice. Yeah, well, it's, I was exactly where you guys both wanted to be. Really, ex really exactly as well, you right had, literally on top of it. You had two guys that were prone, one that could only uh, attack in melee. But he had a shot. One of them was prone, yeah. He had a stub gun, Aegis. Oh, right, well, But like... Yeah, why would you? Yeah. I had the, the juve that was stood off to the side, but... I, there was toughness too, I think, as well. Just some take like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. of like... I think you were best, you're best to go. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. And then you guys played it out. Like, I don't know whether we... Because you were very amicable. 
in the play out. We've seen so much bloodshed. I don't think we want any more. Yeah. And we wanted money. Yeah. yeah. With with every role I've gotten for um, recover going into recovery, yeah. that was already just under half of my gang that I won't get next time. So you know, for me at this point, it's like if we fight each other, say I lose another two, 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 maybe max. Yeah. And I'm down to four dudes next game. It's really not not worth it. So we were quite happy to just kind of run around. Um, I did manage to up the gas prices to on seven, the console to seven, to seven now, yeah. uh, which isn't bad yeah, for it's, us. It's only slightly below what the campaign started at. It's true, only slightly. Yeah. And I think this is the most gas I have. I got 12 from collecting it from the vein, and mm. then I got three from a prospecting. Yep. So I got 15 after leaving that. Whereas Which I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, it's not bad at all, is it? Yeah, it's quite yeah, good. Yeah. Whereas I, I got 10 from collecting, uh, 9 from the actual pile, and 1 that I picked up that was on the map at the start, and then 3 from the roll as well, so for a total of 13, which yeah. isn't bad. And then I got 8 from just hanging around the gas pile. And that added just, I don't get the prospecting roll because I've already had a game this, this cycle, yeah. so I haven't sold anything, I'm on 27. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I'm saving up for that Ogryn. I really want to use my Ogryn. <laughs> yeah. Not quite there yet, but hopefully soon. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with a Ganger that has a long las that now can't hit a band or a banjo. Giving me enough sights that it doesn't matter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. That's what like I exhibit, putting a sight and a sight and a sight on the gun. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I thought so. And that is the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the really bloody killing at the start. We'll We'll see about the amicable end. And if you did like it, don't forget to hit like, comment below, and subscribe. It lets us know that you guys like this sort of content and will produce more of this type. And if you really like it, there is the bounty tray on offer that you guys saw bouncing everywhere in the game. It's a design feature put into it specifically for fun. I think it's always user error, actually, because it's, it only seems to be me that can't roll dice in it. it it's user error. That, you well, really like bouncing. I, I know. I, I didn't know. say it. I didn't say yeah, it. I did. I it did. got said. User error. And we will join you guys next time for more Gassy Prospects. Fun? Yeah, it was fun. Murder kill. Murder, Murder kill. kill. Murder kill. <laughs> yeah, in a bit. Bye. See you later.